Now, because computer power keeps doubling every 18 months, it means that that will affect biology, specifically genomics, meaning that within 10 years time, I expect us to have a CD-ROM with every single gene in our body costing about $1,000. Today, to sequence every gene in your body would cost $50,000. That is the cheapest you can sequence every single gene in your body. Because of Moore's Law, because things are being computer power, it will be cheaper and cheaper, it means that within a 10-year period of time, it means that that genomics will cost maybe just about $1,000. And that'll be the basis of all your medicine, which means that we'll be able to scan millions of genomes with a computer, and that can create a revolution in how we numerically analyze genes. For example, Let's say we have a million old people and a million young people. We sequence the genes of old people. We sequence the genes of young people, because all of them have a CD-ROM, and we subtract. That allows you to isolate where aging takes place, specifically which genes are damaged in the aging process. Think of a car. Where does aging take place in a car? Well, the engine. Why? Because that's where combustion takes place. That's where we have the gum of uh, deposits and, and soot build up in the engine, because that's where oxidation takes place. Well, where does oxidation take place in a cell? The mitochondria. The mitochondria is the engine of the cell. So we now know where aging takes place. And by scanning the genes, we'll be able to look at the genes of the mitochondria and be able to repair some of those genes. And that could open up a whole new realm of biology. In other words, Biology will be reduced to computer science.